Hey everyone, so today we're going to be discussing which Webflow workspace plan you need in order to begin converting your websites that you built in Webflow over into the platform of your choice, be it Shopify, WordPress, Jamstack, or Ghost uh, using Udesly. And we're also going to touch base on the mind shift tweak that you need to make when building websites with the purpose of converting them into themes. Okay, so let's get cracking. So often the first step in learning anything new, be it a skill or a new development framework or whatever it is, is the first few steps. They're often the most confusing. And one question that pokes its head up over and over again with new users is what account slash workspace plan do I need in order to begin converting websites? And do I need a website hosting plan? The simple answer is you're going to need a workspace plan that allows you to export code. Now, the easiest way to tell if it's going to allow you to do that is if it has a price tag greater than zero. Now, the cool thing about workspace plans is that it allows you to build not just a basic website in Webflow, but you can build e-commerce, membership sites, complicated CMS driven websites. And you can do that all just by activating the various different functionality within Webflow at the click of a button. So for instance, clicking the shopping cart button in Webflow, that adds all the Webflow e-commerce functionality, which will get converted seamlessly over with Udesly. So Awesome. So I just click it on and start building. Now you may be tempted to go with a free workspace plan and add in a site hosting plan. The problem here is that's not going to work because as I said, the free workspace plans don't allow you to export code. So yeah, don't do that. So which plan is best? We'll either go for the freelance plan or the agency plan, depending on your requirements, because basically we are exporting the sites and hosting them elsewhere. The in-house plans are typically geared towards more companies that are working within Webflow and hosting their sites within Webflow. So yeah, pick either the freelance plan or agency plan and you're pretty much good to go. Hey, you still with me? Okie dokie. So click that little red button if you would. And uh, yeah, in exchange, we'll keep teaching you how to use your Desly. Okay, so that's sort of that question. But now the next one that kind of follows on is, do you need a hosting plan? And the answer here is simply no. You're not gonna host the website on Webflow. So it makes no sense to pay for hosting. Instead, you're using Webflow and its awesome power as your development or design framework that allows you to visually build and create themes or templates for different platforms, which is Awesome. Okay, so another question we get asked is, do I have to add all my content to Webflow before I export it? So products, images, articles, team roster, whatever. And the short answer here is no, you don't have to. You can within certain limitations, but you don't have to. And the main reason why is, and this comes down to the mind shift that I was telling you about, is you're developing a theme or template for the destination platform, which leverages its own content management system. And so you ostensibly what you could do is populate your website with advanced Laura Ipsum, so copy text, images, or whatever, and then just use that to design and develop your template. And then you can author the official content within the platform of your choice. Up to you, really. Now that's for CMS driven content, so products or articles. But when it comes to front end content, so let's say on the home page we have a hero and we want to edit the, the text and change the image, those are handled differently and it also is different per platform. So, Shopify, you would do that typically through the Shopify customizer and it requires additional setup and custom attributes. And on something like WordPress, there's a front end editor that you can use. Now, given how fundamentally different they are between the different platforms, we're not going to cover them now but these will be included and focused on and specifically in other videos. Okay, so the final question, and this kind of follows on from the other one is, if I'm going to add or edit or delete products, do I have to do that in Webflow first and then re-export and then reinstall the theme? And the short answer is no, and the slightly longer answer is maybe. As I just said, you're creating a theme or template that leverages the destination platform CMS. Okay, so for example, if we're using Shopify and we wanted to create a new product, all we would need to do is open up our website admin for our Shopify store, go to products and just add a new product or delete it or edit it or whatever you wanted to do, hit save and you're done. However, and this is where the maybe comes in, if you are making a design change or you are creating a new page or template or you are broadly adjusting the CSS or something, those types of changes aren't going to come across because they're not controlled by the CMS. So you are going to have to make the changes in amends and Webflow, reconfigure and export it, and then reinstall it on your destination platform. Okay, so one thing to keep in mind when you do convert and add a new theme with new functionality is that some platforms aren't going to retain any front-end editor data. 
So specifically like Shopify, if you use the Shopify customizer that is related to the current theme. If you add a new theme, that's a whole new theme. So any changes that you've made it in Shopify customizer aren't going to apply, be applied. Now there is a workaround to do this and I will cover it off later on. But for the time being, what I would recommend is you copy and paste any changes into your Webflow project so that you have a one-to-one -one record and it will come across as default. With other platforms like WordPress, it's not an issue because the front-end editor data is stored in the database, so you won't lose it. But I still just check it just just to be doubly, triply sure. Okay, so that's it. I hope you found this video useful and in, in interesting and somewhat illuminating. And um, yeah, if you are still struggling or you still have a few niggling questions that you can't quite figure out, just plop them in the comments below and we'll get to them as soon as we can. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe, join our communities. And if you are looking to try Udesity for free, uh, there's a whole host of links below that you can click and it'll take you to the free plan and you can give it a try. And uh, yeah, hope to see you on board. Catch you later. Bye.